I'm glad he told me that because I knew I would have butchered it otherwise. So thank you, Ryan, for coming up here. I believe making his debut here at the New Raceway Park in that number 19 machine. Uh, I believe you are correct. By the way, I am supposed to tell you from Cody Bowler, the Ravens just won. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah. No, not really. It's just the Ravens. <laughs> my, believe me, my, my, the to coach of my Texans has screwed us for the year already. So, All right. RPM's up. Green flag is down here. Race number one. For your Coney's used cars, IMCA, Wild Thing, Hobby Stocks, and Mike Grass out with the lead in the 77 G Machine. Craig Lift in the 83 right behind him in second, then 20 Fetterman side by side for that fourth place, fifth place spot between the 47 Jake Manis and the four Lowell Jansen. Scott Kep and Michael Finson at the back of the pack. Craig Lift a little sideways. Looks like Fetterman getting on the binders to avoid contact. Mike Grass still your race leader in the 77 G. It is a battle up front. Grass under pressure from Craig Cliff. Cliff now going to dig down to the inside. He's at his quarter, at his door. They're side by side coming off of two, still side by side down the back stretch. Little bit of an advantage by a nose into three for. Oh! No way! Craig Cliff spins. Fetterman and Jansen spin to avoid. Oh, man. It looks like everybody's going to keep going. We're going to be clean and green. Mike Grass leading, Manit second, Kep in third, then it's Jansen and Cliff, your top five. What a heartbreaker as he was going for the lead, Scotty. With two laps to go, Mike Grass in the 77G. Out in front in that hobby stock. Ray Sport Mods last year now in a hobby stock as he comes into turn three, finds himself out in front. Jake Mance, the 47, running in that second place spot, Scott Kep. In the 19 machine, running in third. Lowell Jansen and Craig Lift, your fourth and fifth runners. And still a little slideways for the 83 car with a white flag out. Half a lap to go for the 77. Mike Grass into turns three and four. Car looks a little tight now, a little loose. Gathers it back up. Man is right behind him. Mike Grass going to take home heat race number one. Jake Mann is in that second place spot. Scott Kep in third. It's going to be a drag race to the line here. Lowell Jansen in fourth. Craig Clift, your top five. So speaking of the uh, Cody Bulware and his family, um, of course, not here tonight, but with good yep. reason. Uh, his lovely wife, Kelly Bulware, has been uh, battling an injury for over a year. Finally got to have surgery earlier this week. Thank God. She has been really a trooper through this whole deal. Surgery went well. Now they're just waiting to make sure the healing goes on. And I immediately think of the original... American Pie movie, Awe Striker. <laughs> the character Awe Striker. I don't know why, it just, I my mind went there. I, I never would have thought of that now that you say that. Yeah, that. Oh, goodness. I'll tell you, I had an absolute blast in Boone, but I'll tell you, it's nice to come to a track that's dry, somewhat warm, and not foggy. We saw, we literally saw fire, we saw rain, we saw fog. And we trudged through a swamp most of the week, but man, it was fun. All right, he race number two underway here at the new Raceway Park, fueled by Total Motors of Lamar's. It's gonna be Stephen Pierce running through the middle, out to the race lead, Kyle Davis, tuck tail right behind him. Ben Schneider, Todd Casher, David Miller. And now the ONX to the outside of Todd Casher as well. Miller, a little slideways, gathers it back up, side by side for the race lead. Stephen Pierce, lead lap number one. Pierce still has the 33 of Davis right there. A little bit of contact. Davis gets a little bit sideways, but gathers it back up. Davis going to pull side by side and just a hair ahead as they go down the back stretch into three as they come out of four. Still a side by side battle. Ben Schneider's trying to pick which line he wants to go to. Does he want to follow Davis? Does he want to follow Pierce? Or does he want to stick his nose in the middle? Right now gives just a little shot in the shorts and he now a bigger shot in the shorts with love to the 33 of Davis. But right now, Pierce with the advantage going through three and four once again. Now Miller is also right there. So it is, and then as a five car battle now with the 01X of Awestrike. So we have five cars under a blanket first through fifth. Battle still up front is Pierce and Davis as they're gonna see the green flag in the air, two laps to go. Great race in here, he race number two, throw a blanket on him from first on back. Top five cars all battling it out, anyone's game yet. 
Yeah, Steven Pierce leads away. Kyle Davis through the middle now, trying to get to the driver's side door of the 3P machine. You got a couple of hungry 34 cars right behind them. And then Ostrike in the 01X as well. White flag is out, one to go. Steven Pierce, little contact from Kyle Davis. Shot in the shorts from Snyder. Says, oh, car going around. That's going to be the 01X. And sitting the wrong way on a one way, but coming to the checkered. Who's it going to be? Steven Pierce by a nose. Kyle Davis second. Ben Schneider's third, David Miller fourth, and Jonathan Schroeder, your top five. Wow. Wow. You talk about a competitive race, the top five under a blanket, most of the heat. Wow. Seventy six car is pit side. I saw him earlier while we're roaming around the pit area. Not sure why he uh, did not make the call. Well, regardless, we are going green. This time coming out of four. So once again, it's going to be Dallas Williams and the Toy Scout, Joel McGee. They'll be on the front row. We are coming through and green flag is out. It is going to be Dallas Williams with a slight advantage as they head down the front stretch into turn number one. Right now, oh, Stephanie Reynolds, nice crossover move from the high side to the low side. Unfortunately, gets bottled up behind the 99 of Williams. As they come through three and four, it's going to be Joel McGee with the early advantage. Three wide for second, third, and fourth. Andy Hoffman sitting in fifth is now officially your 2020 track champion. Congrats to Andy Hoffman. But Joel McGee, he is going to the whip to try and pull away from new second place runner Carl Monroe. Williams in third. Your new newly crowned champ, Hoffman in fourth, and Stephanie Reynolds rounding out your top five with four laps to go. That KCAU nine car out in front with Joel McGee, the Toy Scout. Carl Monroe running in second. Carl Monroe has a few feature wins here already this season. Anthony Raceway Park, Andy Hoffman up to that third place spot. Battle between Dallas Williams and Stephanie Reynolds in that 96 R car. Coming into turn number one now. Best battle out on the track. Is for that fourth and fifth place spot. Carl Monroe starting to gain some ground on the KCAU 9 car. Monroe trying to pull to the back bumper of Joel McGee with two laps to go. Carl Monroe is going toy fishing and he is trying to reel in a toy scout as once again he is getting closer and closer to the rear bumper of the KCAU 9 car of Joel McGee. They're going to come down and see the white flag out this time by McGee. And Monroe, both smooth, although Monroe a little bit too sideways, gonna lose a little bit of ground. White flag is out. They're gonna go through one and two one more time. Andy Hoffman also going to the whip, trying to catch up to the one M of Monroe. But as they go down the back stretch into three and four, the Toy Scout's gonna do it. Joel McGee is gonna win heat race number three. Carl Monroe in second. Your 2020 champ, your newly crowned champ, Hoffman in third. Stephanie Rails in fourth, and Dellis Williams will round out your top five. So congratulations to the 8X of Andy Hoffman, your 2020 Coney's Used Cars Hobby Stock Champ. Not making the call. That is gonna move the Angry Watermelon to the pole. Last time we raced here, that Angry Watermelon, David Bates taking home his first Hobby Stock victory on the same day that him and his family lost their house in a fire. You talk about the biggest roller coaster of emotions you could go through. And like uh, PJ mentioned earlier, uh, still donations being given to the Bates family as we go green here. Heat race number four. David Bates, Justin Schoen gonna lead them in a one and two. Tyler Pospisil, here comes Zach Bales now to the back bumper of the 13B. Oh, a little shot in the shorts with love from Bales to Bates. And it is still Bates and Shern side by side for the lead. As it comes down, it's gonna be the Angry Watermelon with the lead. Now Shern trying to decide if he wants to battle for the lead or second. A little bit of a bobble from Shern. Bates is gonna retake that lead. It's Bates, Shern, Bales, Pospisil, and the 62 of Hesse. As they're gonna see four laps to go this time by. Now the Angry Watermelon, David Bates starting to gap the 48J of Shern just a little bit. Oh, Paws Pistol every which way, but straight through one and two. Little bit of contact right front to left rear on uh, Bales. 
to Shern. Everybody, no harm, no foul. They're going to keep it straight. Three laps to go. It is still Bates, Shern, Bales, Pospisil, and Hesse. And as David Bates starts to get the field a little bit more, bobble by the 48 of Justin Shern. Zach Bales and Tyler Pospisil trying to capitalize. Coming to be three wide off turn number four for a split second. Green flag in the air. Two laps go for the Andrew Watermelon. Bates still out in front. Shearn running in second. Bales trying to run him down. Pos Pistol is there as well. Hesse at the back of the pack. As a white flag comes out for David Bates. Justin Shearn starting to pull away from Bales a little bit. Pos Pistol is right at the left rear quarter in the 26 car. Side by side through one and two. Hesse a little bit sideways. Gathers the car back up. Into turns three and four for the final time, though. Coming to the checkered flag, it's the Anger Watermelon, David Bates in the 13B. Justin Shearn in second, Zach Bales third, Tyler Pospisil in four. Then Alan Hesse rounding out your top five. So picking up where he left off two weeks ago, David Bates parking it in victory lane and now picking up a heat race win. We'll see what he can do in the feature later tonight. Can he go? Two for two at the end of the 2020 season. For your IMCA hobby stocks. Also, we want to say congratulations to uh, Letty Cunningham and uh, Bree tying the knot October 10th. That's funny. So as they come through three and four, Eight laps of distance, the B main is live, and it is gonna be the cliffhanger, Clay Cliff, with the early advantage over Jonathan Schroeder as they go down into one and two. Schroeder, oh, contact between him and Dillis Williams. Williams around, that's gonna collect the 01X of Ostrike, and I do believe that's a 16 of, of Finzen, possibly. Yeah, no, Finzen made it through. Just the 99 and the 01X. It's a little weird having a position down here, but for what we got coming up later, it's probably the best position for me to be at. All right, so green uh, coming off turn four this time by. As is gonna be Craig Clift, some contact with Schroeder. Down the front stretch here into turn one. Fetterman now up to that second spot in the seven car. Oh, Hesse getting contact with us with Schroeder. As Schroeder does a 360, keeps the car going. Todd Caster up to that fourth place spot now. As looks like black flag coming out for the 62 car of Hesse. Right now, your top four is going to be Craig Clift. Tony Fetterman sitting in second. Patrick Ostrike in third. Todd Caster sitting there in that fourth place spot. Two laps down, six laps to go. But here comes the 7K of Jonathan Schroeder. And caution's going to come out. Just about to say that Schroeder was uh, going to the whip to try and catch up to Caster for that last transfer spot. But looks like it's going to be all for naught. All right, so under this caution, we're going to draw for a T-shirt and hero card. I will not say the price because I cannot remember the price off the top of my head, but that 2T car is for sale. All right, coming back to green now. In turns three and four, green is out and we're underway. Craig Clint out with the race lead. Tony Fetterman running in that second spot. And that's gonna be Patrick in the 01 X car. Todd Caster running in fourth. Schroeder, your current top five out on track right now. Schroeder now underneath of Caster on the outside looking in. He is desperately trying to get that final transfer spot. Meanwhile, Caster trying to get underneath of the 01X of Ostrike. That would be for third. It is still Clifton Fetterman one and two, but third, fourth, and fifth far from decided. Now Ostrike. Trying to gap the 2T of Caster as Caster gets passed by Allstrike. Now, once again, it is Schroeder trying to catch up to the 2T. 
But Ostrike now trying to reel in the, uh, the seven of Fetterman. It is still Craig Clift with three laps to go, your leader. Craig Clift leads the field into turns three and four. Fetterman running in that second spot. Ostrike in third. Caster in fourth. Single file around the raceway. As a white flag will come out this time by for the 83 at Craig Clift. White flag is out one more time around. Todd Catcher trying to make a move to the back bumper of the 01 X of Ostrike. As Schroeder a little slideways in one and two, gathers it back up. But coming off a of turn three and four, it's going to be Craig Clift in the 83 machine. Tony Fetterman in second. And Patrick Ostrich in that third place spot. Todd Casher fourth. And Jacob Schroeder rounding out your top. Jonathan Schroeder, excuse me, rounding out your top five. Andy Hoffman, your 2020 points champion. One more time for these Hobby Sox, ladies and gentlemen. Your final A feature of the night. Big thank you to M&T Motorsports, Coney's Used Cars, Professional Concrete, J&J Fittings, and Bonine Garage Stores for being our class sponsors all year long. And of course, Total Motors of Lamar's for being the weekly title sponsor of the new Raceway Park, fueled by Total Motors of Lamar's. Scotty, let's send them off one more time. RPM's coming up off turn three and four. Green is out and we're on our way with your Wild Things Holly Socks. Mike Grass leads him in a turn one and two. Steven Pierce on the outside. Kyle Davis in there as well. Davis to the inside of Mike Grass. Three wide for the race lead off turn number two. Kyle Davis now with the race lead. Steven Pierce to the outside. Mike Grass. Carl Monroe is in there. Jake Manitz. Also, Justin Sheeran, your top five. Joel McGee, a little slideways on the front stretch. Gathers it back up. We're still leading mean and green, PJ. All strike around in three and four, but he is going to get back going. We are going to stay clean and green. Kyle Davis currently leading. But here comes Carl Monroe in the middle of three wide between him, Grass, and Pierce. Carl Monroe up to second. One, the yellow's going to come out. Oh, my. Here each and every week as well. Craig Clift for all the hours on the uh, in the water truck. To the uh, Kenny and the kitchen staff back there, thank you for keeping concessions going. And the workers in the kids' corner as well, keeping that flowing. But we're coming back to green here in the Hobby Stocks. Kyle Davis, great start in that 33 car. Carl Monroe gets a good run on the top side. That 1M has a few feature wins here already this season. Trying to run down the 33 car as car shuffling all throughout the field down the back stretch into turn three. They come. Kyle Davis, Carl Monroe, Stephen Pierce, Jake Manis, Mike Grass, Joel McGee, your top six cars, PJ. Carl Monroe, he is going to the whip. He's trying to get to the outside of Kyle Davis. Is it going to three and four? Can't quite get there. And meanwhile, Pierce and Manis still battling it out for third and fourth. But it is Carl Monroe. Oh, it is Todd Casher going around in turn two. He's going to keep it fired. We're still going to stay green. Carl Monroe to the inside of the 33 of Davis. The battle for the lead is on. He is down there to the inside. He pushes Davis up. Drag race. It is dead. He is the line. A little bit of Robbins racing going into one. Carl Monroe, new leader. Kyle Davis in second. Now it is Pierce in third. Meanwhile, McGee and Hoffman, your new champion, going for fourth and fifth right now as they're also trying to get around Stephen Pierce. Here comes Jake Manitz as well. So you've got third, fourth, fifth, sixth, all under a blanket, then seventh, eighth, and ninth right behind him. Meanwhile, Kyle Davis trying to catch back up to Carl Monroe to see if he can possibly do something with the 1M and get that lead back right now. But up front, it is all Carl Monroe leading. As we've got three wide going into turn one and two between Steven Pierce, Andy Hoffman, and Jake Manis. Still three wide off of two down the back stretch. Joel McGee into that third place by the KCAU 9 car. 
Kyle Davis sits in second. Carl Monroe, your front runner in the 1M car right now, coming up on the lap car. The 2T of Todd Caster. Andy Hoffman makes a move to the inside of Steve Pierce in the 3P car. Oh, we got problems on the back stretch. Smoke pouring out of the 47 of Jake Manitz. He pulls it down to the inside. Caution's going to come out. Tough luck for the 47 car. Jake Manitz up in smoke off turn number two. Oh, wow. Heavy front end damage on Manitz, too. I don't know if that was necessarily a motor expiring because, uh, yeah, heavy damage to the front end, especially the left front of the 47 car, Scotty. Getting another feature win on the year would be awesome. Kyle Davis hasn't had one in a long while. But what about if Joel McGee were to pull her off? That would be awesome, too. It's been even longer. <laughs> As Mike Birdsell just said, it's been even longer. We're going to find out who's going to win in five short laps. We're back to green. Monroe, then Liam down the front stretch into one and two. Meanwhile, you've got Davis trying to go to the inside. Here comes Andy Hoffman. Hoffman to the inside of the 33 of Davis. It's three wide for second, third, and fourth. McGee, Davis, and Hoffman. But it is all Carl Monroe up front as he goes under for four laps to go. David Bates now around. Zach fails up in that top five as he gets by David Miller. Oh, problems to the 13B of David Bates as he gets sideways, falls back. But here comes Joel McGee. McGee going to the whip, trying to catch up to the 1M of Monroe. Three laps to go. He is down the low side. That KCAU 9 car is working. Oh, as I see that, he bobbles just a little bit. Here comes Andy Hoffman trying to get to the outside. But with two laps to go, Scotty, it's all Carl Monroe up front. Green flag high in the air, the 1M with the race lead. Andy Hoffman to the outside of KCAU 9 car. Hoffman up to that second spot. Joel McGee trying to fight back on the bottom side, side by side for second, and also side by side for fourth and fifth between Zach Bales and Kyle Davis. White flag is out one more time around for Carl Monroe. Andy Hoffman has one more lap to try to run down the 1M car. Joel McGee sits in third. And it's side by side for fourth and fifth. Coming into turn number three for the final time, though, in the 2020 season, Carl Monroe pushes his way into victory lane here tonight in the 1M car. Andy Hoffman second, Joel McGee third, Kyle Davis fourth, and I believe Zach Bales your top five. Carl Monroe does it again. He started fifth on the starting grid and put it in victory lane once again. That right turn chassis, 1M car of Carl Monroe. Oh, Carl, Carl, Carl. First off, tell us about that awesome run. Man, that's incredible. I, track's great. Thanks to Steve for the track. Everybody out here that puts on the show, it's, it's awesome. Had some tough luck this year. We will be back next year for the full season. Now, each time you've won, it's been by a pretty sizable advantage. This one a little uh, little closer. Did you know that the, the rest of the field was as close as they were to you? On that restart, I seen Kyle Davis drop to the low side on going into one, and I gave her all she's got after that, and I have no idea where anybody was after that. So, stupid question of the night, candidate. Does it bother you that the car has more feature wins than you do this year? No, it don't. <laughs> All right, well, congratulations. Enjoy this one, and uh, hopefully we'll see you back October 2nd and 3rd for the South Dakota Nationals. We'll see what we can do. Thank you. All right, once again, your Coney's Used Cars, IMCA Hobby Stock feature winner. Very popular one, too, the 1M of Carl Monroe.